Welcome to another edition of Dan Frequently Asked Questions. In this edition, we have a question by a diver about the aftermath of having stepped on a sea urchin and developing the tattooing effect that is the result of spines entering the skin and leaving the skin, but then noticing afterwards that the area has become swollen, itchy and redness with a feeling of heat and that they now can walk with a noticeable limp, that there is limited range of motion in the left big toe and they want to know whether or not this is a normal process. Well first of all we distinguish between the short and the long spined sea urchins. In the warm waters of Hawaii where this person describes they sustained the injury, the chances are far greater that it is the long-spined sea urchin, which means not only is it a longer spine, but there may be venom involved. Secondly, if the spines enter a joint, they can cause a tremendous inflammatory response to the point where the joint itself can become damaged and even destroyed to the point where they have to fuse the joint. In other words, they have to literally attach one part of the toe to another part of the toe so it can't bend at all. However, it seems that this is still in early days and here is what I would recommend. First of all, go to someone knowledgeable about diving related hazardous marine life injuries Secondly, have an x-ray or ultrasound done to confirm that there is no foreign material left in that area. Thirdly, if there is doubt or confirmation that there is foreign material, any such foreign material should be removed, particularly if it affects a joint which appears to be the case. And lastly, as I've mentioned in a previous case of frequently asked questions, it sometimes is necessary to literally biopsy and it's like a little punch that you drill out the tract of the barb. And once that's removed, then the granulomatous and the venomous response abates and healing occurs normally. And of course, once that happens and there is normal range of motion and no pain, and the skin is healed completely, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to return to diving. I hope that answers your question and that you will be able to get the help you need. Until next time, safe diving.